Good evening and welcome to Omni Bros Live. My name's Omni Dog from Omni Dog's Vault on YouTube. Joined as usual with a weekend geekdoms, Geo. Geo, how's it going? Uh, doing pretty well. Happy to be here on a Monday evening, which uh, I am extremely tired because I was working today, even though well, it's a holiday. But that's a tragedy. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> But I'm happy to be here, nonetheless. We will. Well, we're we're glad to have you, and we will be joined um, by I know at least Gabe, probably the untimely Omar, a few other people, maybe. We uh, should see some stragglers come in, but uh, for right now, it's just the two of us here on Omni Bros Live on Hall's previews and reads. Mr. Awesome says, "Hey, friendos, smash that like button." Hell yeah. You bet. They are late. That is true. They're always late. What's coming out this week? Not a lot and not absolute carnage like I thought. I thought absolute yeah. carnage was coming out this week for sure. I even defended it on my YouTube page, and now I look like a fool. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Jesse. So why don't we talk about, take a sip of a drink first? Yes. Our sponsor, Stocktrades.com, where... where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add 2% to that. The end of every month, they're nice enough to give us a $50 gift card to give away to a lucky viewer like you. And there's... The issue, not the issue, what am I trying to say here? There's the fact that if you spend $50 or more on uh, an order, you get free shipping. Think of how much money you saved last week during Omnigeddon and um, Omni Apocalypse when um, you got like eight Omnis and a 50-pound box came to you for free. That yep. is amazing. Magic. Really. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's in StockTrades.com. Nice. No discount code this week. Sorry, Jesse, say what? I. What are we in, September? September. I, I just don't know. Um, I don't know enough about their business model to know when they'll be able to give out a discount code. I really don't know. Um, this year is so weird uh, for releases and things like that, I, and they're so busy. Yep. I, I just don't know about a discount code. That's why I've stopped saying it, because I just don't know that we're for sure going to get one. I, I, blah, I just don't know. It'll happen eventually. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. This cranberry concoction is just club soda and cranberry juice. Thank you for asking, Candace. It's not bourbon and cranberry. I'm not crazy like uh, Omar. <laughs> uh, Omni Apocalypse 2 Electric Boogaloo is September 23rd. So get ready for that. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I have that listed here. So to de to de to de the 23rd? Batman Hush? Is that the Batman Hush? I think so. Um, week, and then what? what is this? There's uh, Conan coming out. A what? Um, Conan uh, Barbarian Original Marvel Years is coming out. Oh, that's when that's coming out. Uh, Golden Age Marvel Comics is coming out. The Batman by Paul Dini Omnibus is coming out that day. Ben uh, Riley uh, Volume 2. Ben Riley, yep. And uh, the a couple of hardcovers as well. The Legion of Superheroes. There's a ton of stuff coming out. Yeah. But let's I'm not right. worry about let's not worry about that thing. Let's worry about today, this week. I <laughs> think that. Yeah, I thought for sure Absolute Carnage was coming out this week. I don't know when it's coming out now. I'm looking at the. I'm looking at. The images I used for my preview for what was coming up this month, and uh, Absolute Carnage uh, was first for this week, and somebody questioned me on it, and I'm like, 
My sources all say that absolute <laughs> carnage is coming out the second week of September, and by golly, I'm sticking with it. And now, of course, I look stupid. No. I mean, it's a crazy year. Nobody could predict any of this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I did start off, I always start off those Essential Edition episodes saying uh, every everything I'm saying now could be complete, jumbled up, and pushed away. Um in two seconds so and it was taylor brown says forget the omnipocalypse this has been the year of pandemic jess <laughs> just wait until his next <laughs> haul. yes taylor has gotten a, a sneak preview of my next haul um and it's pretty epic i have um i i, I don't understand it i there i've just I, the only way I can defend it is saying I bought a lot of used books off of Amazon for runs that I got baited into, but I did a lot of it. Uh, and then I did a lot of IST shopping, too. I admit That's it. That's always good. I admit it. Yep. Um, <laughs> not stupid, bros. Uh, I must have the Dark Knight Returns absolute reprint. Omar said Carnage got pushed to oh, all right, to ten fourteen. All right, that makes sense. Uh, so a month from now, is there a chance of more She Hulk omnibus this year with the pink cover? Hold your uh, question for that question for if the untimely Omar shows up. He probably can answer that better than we can. Mm -hmm. I, my gut feeling tells me that everything that's gone out of print so quickly i just can't imagine that they wouldn't reprint those things as soon as possible to get them back out um to make money i mean yeah. they sell out so fast uh, mm -hmm. i i i don't want to guarantee anything because uh, this is such a weird year i almost i just want to say that yes everything that's gone out of print almost has to get reprinted yeah because it'll take some time but so fast it'll take some time but yeah they'll reprint everything because they know it's sold well so there's money to be had by reprinting them so it's just a matter of time um when is war of the realms omnibus i know that omar has shown a uh he's got his preview copy so I, I think mean, it's in October or November. I think it's October or something. Um, the first week of October. Okay. That's not far away. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey. Hello, guys. First time here. Omnidoc, seeing you on near mint condition. Glad to be here. All hey, right. You're you welcome. Nice. 10-7. Okay. <laughs> 2017, Jess. Don't apologize for the halls, my dude. You give me hope for the future. Terrible picture of me. I look like I'm gacking something up. <laughs> I'm really old, too. I've got headphones on. Um, okay, 2017, Jess. I, I will... Uh... <laughs> Taylor Hacker's... Uh... Uh, question is funny. Hey, Jess, can you go ahead and buy slot Spider-Man run so I can get my Omni? Uh, I actually have almost all of slots Spider-Man run, so you really should be getting an Omni. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've got a whole bunch of it over here, then I got a whole bunch of it there. So I that's one thing I'm trying to piece together is, is all of slots Spider-Man, whatever's released. Because that's what I really want to start reading. Uh, because I, I read and loved Superior Spider-Man. And um, I read and loved Silver Surfer. So I know I like his uh, writing. Um, but I've already bought just about everything I can, I think. I'll have to ask Riley. Um, or maybe even you, Gio. You're a Spidey expert. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. What's up, everybody? Buddy? 
That's how you know Gabe's in the house. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, How's it going, everybody? Uh, sorry, I was a little late. Had to had to take care right. of a couple things. No problemo. I like the new background. The new background we got is nice. Saw it uh, a couple minutes ago and decided to add it to our stream. Looks pretty uh, nice. Perfect. I like it a lot. Paul Baker, I wish they just decided to divide Grell's Green Arrow into three Omnis instead of two. I agree. I think they should have done the same thing they did with uh, Morrison's Batman Omnibus. Make three small, uh, lightweight Omnis instead of just two massive bricks. Because with that first Green Arrow book, it looks like you could murder somebody with that. And I don't know. I think they could have done smaller or thinner Omnis for that run. Yeah, I remember. You know what? Just somebody can buy time. it. Mm -hmm. And they could just make their own custom bound omnis. Mm, cut it in half. Buy it and split it into three. Yep. True. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that it's it's intimidating, but I'll but it it'll, it would that's the kind of omni that I would have by my reading chair and just read a little bit all the time. I couldn't sit down and just say, okay, I'm not stopping. I'm starting and not stopping. There's, I just couldn't do it. There's yeah, way too power much. Through it. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of uh, omnibus I would carry around and wait till I see a bug and just drop it on that bug and just splatter it <laughs> in oblivion. You go through the floor. <laughs> as long as you get the bug. <laughs> um, is the Inferno Omnibus too big? Wow, how'd you know to go to that? I was just reading it. Good job. I'm in sync tonight. You are, man. You are on a roll. Uh, Good I've job, got, Jill. I've got two guys that can operate the gift machine and the pick up on the questions. Um, Inferno, let's see. Inferno's a pretty small... Well, it's big enough to be an Omni, but it's a smallish book. And then you're going to tack on what? Infinity crossovers into I'm sorry, Inferno crossovers into it? Is that what goes in? Uh, it's, not in it's not Inferno prologue. Yeah. I don't yeah, think we've hit the limit of how big an Omnibus can get yet. <laughs> <laughs> Has not. Uh, if the spine doesn't break, they'll keep adding more pages. Yeah. We're, we're going to push that thing to the limit. Yeah. Well, that's what happened with that Dugan and Posehn uh, uh, Deadpool. It uh, came off its uh, boards. It was so yeah. good. Well, I don't, was it because it was so big or was it just a bad build? Because same thing happened with the uh, uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man on the bus. Well, that's a good point. Yeah. Mr. Austin, Gio, love your recent ranking shows. Did Riley hope they become a regular installment? Not this week, but uh, soon we're going to do rebirth rankings. We're going to rank all of the DC rebirth stuff. So we'll we're going to be doing a lot more uh, topical stuff going on with this channel pretty soon as well. So that's going to be just a part of it. And yeah. as somebody mentioned in the chat, we're sitting at 123 people watching today. So shout out to everybody. Ooh. Give us a little bit of a help. Give us that thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, give us a sub and uh, show us pictures of your feet. No. No, no. I don't know why I laugh, but no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely do, gonna... do the sub and do the thumbs up. This and I've already talked about ISG. Videos. This might be a good time for you to talk about our Patreon. Oh, Mike. yes. All right, everybody. So let's do this. Uh, we do have a Patreon. Uh, we're not only fans. We, we don't do uh, crazy, sexy <laughs> pictures or videos or like makeup streams or anything like that. But we do have a Patreon because uh, we have had plenty of wonderful folks ask how they can help out the show, uh, give us a thank you, and be uh, a bigger part of the Omni Bros uh, universe. 
And we do have that option with our Patreon. Uh, we do have a great Patreon. We have a tier that is strictly for tips. If you want to just give a little bit of a, uh, a shout out and a little bit of a thank you, this is your option for that. It starts at a dollar. Uh, you could edit the dollar amount and put in whatever you want. One dollar, two dollar, fifteen dollars, or whatever it takes that you want to do as a quick thank you. Uh, and we definitely appreciate everybody with that. And the best part about our Patreon, this is Geo Justice. My, this is all of our favorite tier ever. This is the Campfire tier that for five bucks, that's right, five bucks, you uh, get the chance to have a private hangout session with your favorite Omni Bros and your not so favorite Omni Bros as we <laughs> hang out together and we get to chit chat and get to know each other a, a little bit better because we do have the best community and the best audience uh, ever for YouTube. Uh, we've never once really ran into anybody who was a complete dick or was just not willing to uh, participate and have a good time. So we do have this chance for everybody to uh, get a chance to hang out with us on Zoom. We got a little too, we were gonna do it. We originally was doing it through here on StreamYard and StreamYard can only hold 10 people. And we bursted that limit on our very first campfire. So now we're gonna start doing it through Zoom where we get a hangout, uh, chit chat. It's Omni Bros after dark. So it is open to all questions, all topics, all kinds of uh, delinquency and depravity happens on the campfire tiers. Uh, okay. We also had a time where we all hung out together and watched the DC fandom uh, announcements together. Uh, and we got more things coming up as well, where we all kind of just get to hang out and uh, chit chat with each other. It's only five bucks a month. It's it's awesome and totally worth it. It's at least worth five five dollars and fifteen cents worth of entertainment you get from it. So I'll tell you, I'll answer any question. All the girls that have thrown drinks in my faces, I'll tell you all about them. You ask any question, and I'll tell you all the the stories about all the girls who I've thrown my drink in their faces. Those are good stories. We do no. talk mangoes. I leave the chat for that part. <laughs> yeah, that's when Jeff goes and walks his dog. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a great fun time. Uh, OnlyFans. We don't need an OnlyFans. We have Patreon. We could do uh, shirtless videos and all that stuff there. And Paul Baker, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna right? Oh, Rick Nelson finally finished Six Gun today. Absolutely loved it. Have either of you read the follow up series Shadow Roads? Not I yet, but I did pick up that, that trade. Yeah, we are. We have Gabe, introduced everybody to it. Gabe super baited me into getting it, and I ordered it, so it should be here soon. Uh, I talked about it last week. You can go back to last week's show doing our haul, and uh, I do show it off and talk about it. And yeah, I super baited everybody, even myself. Uh, yes, I agree, Paul Baker. Superwoman is great. I really like that rebirth book. So, yes, when we do Rebirth Ranking, Superwoman will be up there. Here's another question for you, Jeff. Just any thoughts on the more modern Legion of Superheroes from 1989 to 2004? I'm only familiar with the run in, with Supergirl in 2005. And Man 40, to be honest, um, I am not familiar with modern Legion of Superheroes. I'm... Um, I'm looking forward to that five years later, Omni, so I can catch up on what the uh, what they're up to five years later. Um, but I don't know. I have not read any uh, modern age uh, Legion at all. So I apologize for not knowing that, but I will. I love the Legion. So as stuff gets released, I will. Uh, I do have. Um, uh, what's that one where they have they fight dark side and stuff? The dark side uh, war, uh, no, no, Legion oh. of Superheroes. Oh, uh, uh is it that uh, death, death of the super gods? No, 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 it's the one with the virus, right? Uh, oh. why am I not fighting? 
It's the Paul Levitt's book, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the yeah, Paul yeah, Levitt's book. About. I've I'm read that. Name really too. That's really good. I I don't. Uh, I, <laughs> that's shocking. I don't know where it is. I don't pretend to know Jess in in and out. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. We all we've all grown up together and went to Vietnam together, Jess and I. <laughs> um, but I am comfortable with saying that Jess only likes uh, Legion superheroes. It involves Jim Shooter. You're probably right. Great Darkness ah, Saga. That's the name that's of it. it. I was close. Yeah, that was a good book. I read that. It's really good. Thank you, Mister Awesome. Uh, and Man 40, yeah, the upcoming Omni, I'm going to get it because I'm curious too. So I, all I can tell you about it is that I want to find out, and so that's why I'm going to uh, get it. But I've heard good things from a lot of people who like the Legion, so I'm hoping that it's good. I, I know that Paul Levitt's run um, gets a lot of praise. Uh, I have the... N52 absolutes for Wonder Woman. Thank you for the question. And that is going to be a highly rated New 52 title. Good. That's just such a weird book to have an absolute and a omnibus out of all the New 52 books. Yeah. Is that, and I mean, Batman got just the Court of Owls as an absolute and nothing else. Justice League got uh, an absolute and bunch of random mishmash hodgepodge uh, of formats. Just as <laughs> major trigger. When we, when yeah. It yeah. has every single format, but it's not uh, in consistent order. Consistent at all. Yeah, yeah no, there's no consistency. At all. They did, they did trigger. Oh, yeah. oh, oh it's not surprising. It's crazier than how they released that yeah. Justice League. Trades, hardcovers, uh, an absolute, a deluxe oversized hardcover, and then an omnibus at the end. Right. It doesn't make any sense. Zero. Yeah. So weird. So, so, so weird. Uh, somebody had an interesting question. Where was it? Uh, da, 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 da. I forgot it, but I thought it was a cool question. Had something to do with Black Label. I'm scrolling. This is this is the best part of the show. Is when I just kind of scroll through <laughs> aimlessly through comments. Um, here we go. Adrian, uh, new DC Black Labels label being placed on Amis. Do you shelve them with your Vertigo books or alongside your DC books? Depends on what book. For me, it depends on what book we're talking about. If it was yeah. originally a Vertigo book, like say Transmetropolitan or Sandman. Or something that was originally vertical, it's always going to be vertical to me. I don't really, the labeling they put on it matters not. Yeah. Uh, other than that, then it'll just go a regular DC section. Yeah, it sounds the same to me. I actually don't go, I go more by character than I do by label. Uh, you know, Marvel, DC. Yeah. So I stick. I mean, I would stick Vertigo. I say I have Vertigo next to Justice Society of America. So I don't know. It's just where a bunch of big omnis are in my shelf. My DC shelf is organized by absolutes, and then my omnis, and my trade paperbacks. So I have the only DC black label absolute I have is Day Tripper. And that's mm. next to Wildcats for some reason. Mm. Which is neither Black Label, nor Vertigo, nor technically DC. It's right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Adam, Jess, we need an updated room tour. Oh, Taylor Brown is constantly bugging me about that. <laughs> um, yeah. They love, that stuff. They love room tours. People love room tours. So, yeah. I know. I, I do need to do it. Um, I just, I don't know. You could split it up into multiple segments and do like live streams with each Post segment. Yeah, splitting up videos. Uh, part two always gets fewer views than part one. Um, I It's probably about as organized as it's going to get looking around. So 
I've got it on multiple two different floors. Uh, oh my gosh, I have no idea where this hall is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> got to start selling statues and making room. Oh, how dare you? Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Taylor's trying to get me a video with over 10,000 views that doesn't involve my criticizing Neil Adams. <laughs> Is that your video? That that your your big viral video? Your 10,000? Yeah, that's got like 23,000 views. Wow. I think I might come up in a search now. Like, if you search it, I, I must come up fairly in the top 20 or something. I don't know. Because it's, it's got a lot, a lot of views. And that was one of the first ones I ever did because the angles like this, you know, it's not, I'm like in bad lighting and I'm like this. And so that was one of the very first I did. How about this? Do you think that Omnis will be the main format while other formats such as oversized hardcover, epic collections or absolutes will be side collections? Mm, I no. hope not. I, I no, like I, the idea of omnibuses and absolutes. I, I group omnibuses and absolutes kind of in the same category. Uh, specialty, archive, uh, high-end, limited. I, like, I wish they were, were a little bit more limited than they are uh, versions of comic books. Yeah, I think trade paperbacks on OHCs are here to stay. Yeah, because I wouldn't want a, like an omnibus of... I don't know, like some new title that's just kind of whatever and it isn't, you know. I, I, I like absolutes and omnibuses to represent best of the best as much as, as humanly possible. And I don't think it's ever going to be the case where, hey, everybody, here's uh, this new uh, random X-Men title. Uh, we're just making an omnibus right away. I think it's... It's easier if you're able to kind of try things out, like a new series, a new title, especially for us as trade waiters, uh, to be able to try out a new series, uh, more easy access with a, a smaller price point, like $10 trade paperbacks to try out. And if it's a fantastic series, then go ahead and make it into an omnibus. But I don't think it needs mm -hmm. to be started out in that way. Mm -hmm. Right. They said Omar did an hour and a half room tour and got over 100,000 views. Oh, yeah, that's what Taylor's always telling me. But he also has, what, like 15,000 subs? Uh, I think he's got more than that. I think he's got like 25. I think he's reaching 30 by now. Nice. Yeah. 30. We need to get to that spot, guys. So share our videos. <laughs> if this is your first time here, the 150 of you that we got watching right now, uh, give us that sub, share our videos. Not just these videos, but like uh, like the spotlight videos I did. Uh, Jess will be doing a spotlight video sooner or later on uh, Mike Grell's Green Arrow once the uh, Pony Express gets that over to his house. <laughs> just make that happen. And follow Omni Bros Live on Instagram. Yes. All right. So do we want to jump into... Uh, halls and reads and all that kind of fun stuff. Sure. We did room tours on this channel before, and then it just stopped. <laughs> uh, I think Some all the Omni Bros did it, yeah. and then it stopped uh, at a different point. No, not not all of them, because nope. uh, Omar didn't want to do it because he was doing it for his channel. So, uh, not all of us. I don't know. Okay, you want to look at halls or reads first? Let's do halls. I want to see what Jess got. I want to see the I, crazy uh, forklift yeah. of books. <laughs> no, that's that's uh, um, that's going to be um, like a month's worth for a video. I didn't really haul anything last week except for this, just very small haul. Um the haul that Taylor's talking about is everything I've accumulated since the stimulus check haul. Mm. Um, so, um, and that's a couple of big stacks. So I, uh, I already did a really big haul 
last week. Uh, I've got Cruel Summer. Nice. Which I will be reviewing with Taylor uh, this Friday, I believe, on Crime Corner. Are you doing that separate, or is that going to be part of like a criminal read-through? Uh, we're reviewing Cruel Summer and Punisher Soviet as Crime Corner. Oh, okay. So like that's a separate thing. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we've done a lot of Brubaker. I don't know. Maybe we haven't done enough Brubaker yet. Um, Have you done all the Brubaker stuff? I beg your pardon? Have you done all the Brubaker's uh, no. stuff? Then you no. Haven't done we, haven't, Brubaker. we haven't covered... <laughs> We haven't covered Fade Out or Fatal or Velvet. I'm pretty sure we did Killed Be Killed. Uh, incognito, I think we did. I don't know. Taylor, what have we done? I don't Taylor's think I have, I have Fade movie. Out. Is Fade Out just one book? Yeah. Okay, it's, it's Velvet I don't have this. Oh, oh yeah, that's a really good book. Um, Let's see. First, I, okay, so I got Cruel Summer. Then I'm starting to collect Unknown Soldier. This is the one shot from Garth Ennis. God damn it. And then there's a series by Joshua Dysart. Uh, this is number four. It's that hard to find, we were saying, right? Yeah. So I've been getting them like off of Amazon, half price books used for four bucks. Actually, I think number four, this one was like 20 bucks. Um, and the others were like three dollars, um, but I haven't got them yet. This is um, so. I this is something that Lou and Riley both recommended um, uh, as an unknown soldier. So I've got three more of these coming in, and this was a one shot. Nice. And this is Garth Ennis with Killian Plunkett. Red the I haven't read the unknown, but I heard nothing but incredible, amazing, depressing things about it. About what? About unknown soldier. The the, the oh, dice art stuff. Oh yeah. Great. Uh oh, Taylor. Scene of the crime, incognito, and daredevil by Brew Baker so far. Those are the Brew Baker books we've covered. Okay. You could always do then, Captain America on, on Crime Corner. I know. That's a read through <laughs> I have to do. Um, this is a um, commission I got from Amanda Connor. She did Harley in the middle there. That's nice. awesome. I know. I'm really happy with this. I'm going to frame it eventually. Um, it's a black label book, though, so I'll have to get a special frame. But. Uh, this is great. I was really happy with that. Did you say it was black light? Sorry? You said it was black light? Black label. Oh, black label. They said black light. I go, man, it's gonna be like the 70s in their house. <laughs> no. <laughs> or the and 60s. Then the sector that I did an overview of, which is so awesome. That thing is awesome, dude. That is such a good omnibus. Like just the paper yeah. quality and right? the, the collection of it all. That is so cool. Yeah. That's it for me. All right. I think oh, I'm, am I lagging a little bit, guys? Sorry? Uh, I think I'm lagging. Let me come back. I think I'm lagging. Let me come back. I don't think you are. No, it's all right. You're a little fuzzy, but you're not lag your your voice is catching keeping right. up with your lip. It's I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm Sleeper is a book that Taylor and I need to read too, because I haven't read Sleeper yet. So I need to read that. That's a that'd be a good one for Crime Corner. Um, oh, and we also did Pulp. Mm -hmm. I love how everybody knows more than I do what I do on my shows. <laughs> They're keeping tabs of what you've read. <laughs> In my life, I really just don't pay attention to anything. <laughs> I, I, yeah. No, I could. I have a red sleeper yet. I'm saving it for Crime Corner. I know, shocking. And then I read uh, something like Doomsday Clock. Oh boy. I mean, yay. 
<laughs> All right. I'll read it again. <laughs> Good job, Freddie. You're exactly right. Deadly Genesis. Oy, oy, oy. I know. I don't think I can afford you, Taylor. I, I have so much stuff that I've forgotten. It'd be too expensive to hire you. That actually, Hayden has a good idea. That'd be really good. Taylor should be my personal assistant. That'd be great. Yeah, just has to see every morning for his daily schedule. Actually, Taylor should be texting it to me ahead of time. Like I should wake up to my schedule. If we did there it right. You go. Yeah. yeah. Ditch Siri and hire uh, Taylor. <laughs> Siri, you're worthless, Siri. <laughs> uh, Jess, have you read Baltimore? It's a good spooky fall read. Look at that. You nailed it. It's a good spooky fall read. Okay, I'll make it my October read because I haven't read it and I do have it. I'm, I still, idea. I'm still sad because I remember buying the trades and I lost them. And uh, I, I, I've never read it. I, I want to because the premise sounds fantastic, but I haven't read it yet. Uh, I actually don't know a thing about uh, it. Is it about some haunted ship or something? It's vampire hunting in World War One thing, I think, in an alternate uh, Earth or something like that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Todd, first time catching you guys live. Welcome. Woo! Glad Peace and love, there. man. Thanks, Todd. Eric has a question here. Have either of you guys read Wicked Plus the Divine? I've only read the first oversized hardcover. I need to finish that series. I've read the first two oversized hardcovers, and I need to finish that series. I loved it enough to buy the rest of it. So, uh, wait, are there three or four volumes? Uh, uh, I think it's... Three. I'm just gonna look. I know I don't have the last one, which has the two books, which like I complained about. Size. Yeah. Let me check, because that's the only okay, one I know. Yeah, about. I've read. I've read the first two and haven't read the giant size volume three and four, or what it is. I love it. I thought it was great. Yeah. Let me say, let's get a four Taylor's server to these. Oh yeah. yeah! Whoa! There's the tip jar right there, and I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you're much better. You're not fuzzy at all now. Perfect. Uh, so that was a good yeah. choice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, Taylor has demands already. He wants health insurance and four hundred one k matching. Wow. This How much of a good. match? You're probably on like ten percent match or what? I don't know, man. I think that's the limit is 10%. Does he want like relocation fees too? I think he's thinking of doing it virtually, which is really all I need. But I need oh, somebody so to you... do it throughout the day because I can look at my schedule in the morning and I'll have totally forgotten it by noon. Speaking of scheduling, this is awesome. All um, right, Chris. I was listening to my class while listening to you guys. Hopefully you don't get the answers mixed up and you start answering like uh, Brubaker books instead of the actual <laughs> class. So yeah. Good metamorpho avatar though. That, that looks awesome. Cool. That's the, uh, there's your like V list character that nobody really yeah. knows about. You That's don't get somebody a lot of, uh, that Grant write something about. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, Neil Gaiman did Death of... Uh, Metam metamorpho girl or whatever in in Sandman that was really good. I bet Morrison there, uh, could do a really good metamorpho. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, Morrison to do a book just on Danny the Transvestite Street from Doom. Yeah, Robo. Can you say that word anymore? I don't know, but whatever. Transvestite. Yeah. I think that's okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't. Why? Why wouldn't it be okay? Because it's twenty twenty. 
Oh, <laughs> is there a different word for it? Transgender? Mm, I think that's when you get everything switched. Like physical. Yeah. Oh, okay. Translate is just dressing. Oh, drag queen. Nice. All right, so what did I miss? That was, that was my haul. I didn't the small haul like in like 15 books. I also yeah. didn't haul anything unless you count these headphones or some video games, but not, not no yes. books. So. Yeah. I did pre-order the new uh, Mario 3D Ultra. So. <sighs> Man, you guys got me bad in the chat with the new uh, Mario like <laughs> Switch, uh, not remastered games, but you know, like you know, uh, re-releases yeah, on Switch. Yeah, I mean, people are going crazy with that stuff, and FOMO hit everybody hard. There's eBay listings for a hundred and fifty dollars for a game that, yes, it's going to be limited for only six months, but you can still pre-order it from. Walmart, Target, GameStop, Amazon, all the different stores. Wait, what game is this? The uh, super, the Mario 3D All Stars, the the ports of uh, Mario 64, uh, Sunshine, and Galaxy to the Switch to celebrate the 35th anniversary. You can pre-order it now. It's still available at the websites I mentioned, but still people are going crazy and are asking for a like hundred bucks on eBay for that thing, and it hasn't come out yet. It hasn't even come out yet. Comes out uh, in two weeks, cool. I think, on the eighth, uh, September eighteenth. Well, good on the people selling it for a ridiculous price for no reason. Good for them. Yeah. <laughs> good for them. All right, so I'll, I'll show my haul. Not nothing crazy. It's not like a just haul, but it's good stuff. Uh, so let's take a look at the new reprint for the long-awaited. Wolverine omnibus. Uh, I got the, not the DM cover. I got the regular cover. This is the uh, curved spine version. Uh, I wasn't going to get this. I didn't really care for a while. And then as I kind of looked at the contents, this is outside of the uh, the Hulk 180, 181, 182 stuff. That stuff is kind of garbage. Uh, it's not the best read ever. Everything else for the most part in this omnibus is jam-packed with awesome stuff the so i can kind of get close up here a little bit the uh weapon x marvel comics presents storyline is one of the most essential wolverine stories i believe uh thanks to uh barry winter smith and his amazing talents hulk 181 or 180 181 182 it's important as well but the story is kind of garbage uh and then we got the Frank Miller, Chris Claremont stuff. So all the stuff in here is so cool. The Wolverine Claremont, uh, I think it's one through one through seven in here, one through ten. And then the Punisher Wolverine storylines as well. Great stuff. Uh, the Hulk three forty, which is one of the most iconic uh, comic book covers of all time. So I kind of had to rethink it, figure out my process of things, and realize that I needed to get this book because all the great stories in here outside of the 180, uh, 181, 182. And we're hoping, fingers crossed, since this is, has, from what we've been told, selling incredibly well, that will that that's going to convince Marvel to put out a volume two. So, fingers crossed on that. Uh, and then another book. Oh, this is heavier than I thought it was. <laughs> I got the uh, J. Michael Straczynski volume two, Amazing Spider-Man, which awesome. plug plug. Uh, you can see a spotlight video review on right here on the Omni Bros channel as well, where I do an interview, interview, sorry, a review where you can take a look at all the covers, all the work inside, the binding, the paperwork, all that great stuff. So there's a video up on our channel now that you can take a look through this. And I did get the awesome black Spider-Man suit cover as well. So those are my, that's my haul is those two books. Nice. I just got the most vicious review on a YouTube video. Uh -oh. it's, like, it's like 14 pages long. <laughs> In a bad way, or, or is it somebody with constructive Yeah, he's ripping my Spectre Omnibus review. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> he says, I, I, does, I don't know what I'm talking about. And he goes on at length about it. That will be making the mean comments. Um, yeah, video. screen share it later for that mean video. You should, you should pin it to the top. <laughs> That's funny. And his reply back with hugs and kisses. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Sean, uh, you're the man. Thank you so much. Geo just finished Drowned Earth and loved it. That's a fun event. I love that. Is Ali says the book flat or curved. The Wolverine book is is curved. Hmm. I think if I remember correctly, what Omar said that the direct market cover. Oh, I'm sorry. The uh, the mass market cover. This cover has the curved yeah. spine, while the Steve McNiven DM cover has the curved spine. Hmm. Or the flat spine. Excuse me. Flat spine. DM cover. Flat spine. Regular, the Frank Miller cover, curved spine. Same with the Amazing Spider-Man as well. This has the this is the flat spine version. I think for my, if I remember correctly, it was the two DM covers that had the flat spine, while the regular cover had the curved spine. Gotcha. So I don't care. I like this cover better, and I I could live with the, 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 I don't cover. understand. I don't understand the. I don't want to call it controversy is the correct word. <laughs> but kind of the the slight up war on spine being flat or curved. Just as long as you're happy with that book, that's all that matters. Whatever. Yeah. You get, I think you get the same experience reading it, no matter what cover slash spine you you get. I just preferred that cover, that could have had a uh, any any spine, and that would have been the cover I would have gone for because that's the cover I wanted. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, does the flat spine? I, I'm sorry, I was paying attention to my bad review. Does the flat spine um, give you any gutter loss? Uh, not really. Like, okay. everybody can check out the video to see. Uh, but no, I'll show you guys real fast. So if I lay this flat, and I did relax the spine a little bit, and I'm not seeing. They do pretty good. A pretty. Um, let me see if I can kind of. I'll solo my my shot so that we can probably get a better look here. Um, I'm not seeing much uh -huh. in the terms of extensive loss of anything in the gutter loss. I don't know. Maybe see if I can see is there any two page spreads here um, where that would be more of a noticeable occurrence or something. I don't know. It seems fine to me. Um, I think the uh, production of these omnibuses take into account uh, how the panel layouts and how the word balloons and the gutters are, are labeled or kind of laid out on the pages. And I think they, they, I feel like they seem to set it in a, a particular way where you don't have to worry much about the gutter loss. But I'm sorry, I can't really find like a, a double page spread to really show that off or anything. But I, I don't see a, a big major concern or issue or travesty with this okay. at all. The paper, I said in my review, the paper is kind of thin, like just flipping through it. Uh, here's a double page spread. So it is a little bit of a gutter loss, but it's, it's, it's more noticeable with these two page spreads. I think you would get it anyways. I look at Spider Man's arm. Oh, but yeah. You're going to get that anyways because it's a thick book. I mean, yeah. it's different than having a 22 page comic book versus this is probably like, you know, 700 pages into to an omnibus. Um, but where it, to me, where it really count and matters and is a distraction is when the gutter loss affects like word bubbles. And you can see that this one is towards the edge of the paper, but I'm not, it's mm -hmm. not unreadable or lost or anything like that. So that is that only here on Omni Bros Live. Right on, man. And I think I, I blew out a back muscle lifting that thing that way. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson, hi guys. I heard the Green Arrow Omnibus is already out of print. Is that true? And then it doesn't it that Omar said it was. Yeah. 
According to Omar, it is. But I I feel like it's going to come back. I think it's out of stock right now, uh, but I, I I have diamond access, so it, I don't know how uh, true the numbers are because of diamond and DC splitting up. But according to diamond, it's just out of stock. But I think we talked about this yesterday on the Sunday show. Not to knock Mike Grail and not to knock on uh, Green Arrow, uh, but I don't really see that as being the kind of book that would sell out week one. Yeah. Especially when something like, at the same time, Spectre is out of stock as well. I don't think that sold out completely as, as well. It's the Spectre. Yeah. I, I think the only reason it's out of stock is because they printed two copies and Jess and I bought them both. <laughs> <laughs> and the hater from the from the video, apparently. Right. <laughs> All right. That's the sub, son. Yeah. Geo called it. All right. Canadian Invincible Comics. That's what I'm talking about. I said. GA was going to be the one that was going to go out, and people were thinking, no, it's Spider-Man, but Spider-Man's still on the websites. I thought for uh, sure the black costume one would go out first, and it didn't. Mm -hmm. I think it's just, it's a volume two. And a lot of people, since they've got volume one, they're not going to go ahead and grab volume yeah. two. Yeah, that so, volume two is like, or that volume one's like a $200, $250 book on eBay right now. So yeah, it's not going to be it's not as obtainable. If you don't have a number one, it's going to be hard to buy a number two. So, yeah, everybody's right in the chat. Uh, it depends on how many they, they printed of Green Arrow. But I think there is a certain threshold to how much is printed. And whatever that threshold is, I don't think it's sold through right away. So we'll see what happens. I'd be shocked and surprised and very happy for them if that Green Arrow omnibus sold out completely week one so yeah that'd be something mm -hmm. yeah that's something to be happy about and surprising and something to really you know celebrate i don't believe it happened but if it did awesome good for them uh we want to talk about reads yes all right let sure. me go first nothing <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're uh, going crazy go uh, I told you guys uh, my, my schedule has been changing every time I fart, uh, and it's still ha it's, there's still changes happening. I just haven't gotten around the free time to read much of anything. But I'm still going through Invincible. Still going through Invincible. And I know uh, I'm only on Volume 4, and I'm worried that Jess is going to beat me out really quick. So I'm going to have to get back on that when I get a chance. I didn't get a chance to read it today, so you're safe. Uh, For now. I can I can go next because I didn't read a whole ton. Um, I read um, two new series. If you want to go to my channel to learn about them, there are two new manga that debuted called Phantom Seer, which is a paranormal book about this girl that she thinks she's having premonitions, but it turns out, uh, or she's using that premonition to save people and all that stuff, but it turns out she's actually sort of like a beacon for phantoms and ghosts and demons and stuff to attack her. So she's shocked by that. And we learned that the series is about a character that's a shaman warrior, and he's tasked to protect her from the phantoms. So that series debuted it. Pretty cool. I love the art. The, the monsters look fantastic, the demons and stuff. Not too scary, just uh, a good balance of action and horror. And uh, the other one I read is a comedy series called High School Family, which is about this kid that is just entering high school and he learns that his whole family, for some reason, we haven't been told why, but for some reason they all uh, were accepted to the same high school, so the whole family is going to attend class together. And he's extremely embarrassed and angry and uh, uh, shaken up to his core that he's going to be the laughing stock at his school because the cat, the sister, mom and dad, everybody's going to be in that school with him, taking classes alongside him. It's a fun, quirky little book that debuted as well. Awesome. And, yeah. 
that that that's about it. I, yeah, that's about it for me. Right? Yeah. Okay, I read uh, four um, Batter Days in the Batcave with Taylor Brown. I read Rebirth Superman, Superman Deluxe 1 through 4, nice. Action Comics Deluxe 1 through 3, and Superman Reborn, and Lois and Clark, and Final Days of Superman. That was a lot for last week. I read it all, and I enjoyed it. 80% of it, I would say. So that's good for all the, those issues. It's over 100 issues, I think. Wow. So, um, See, yeah, that's why I'm worried about, about you passing <laughs> me up on Invincible. <laughs> all those books that I read in a week. 100 <laughs> issues, just Come on. It's taken that's me a good. month to read like 50 of Invincible. <laughs> Well, I don't. My goal isn't to pass you guys up; it's to keep up with you. I don't want to pass you guys up. Yeah, also, you, you, don't have a, you won't have a problem keeping up. Invincible is a fast read because it has a lot of action in it, so you're gonna read a hundred in no time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and you and you're gonna want to. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty engrossing. I think. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I I realize now. It took. I only have read the first two books. And I've already forgotten them, so. <laughs> oh, Taylor says, it took me three weeks to read what Jess read in less than a week, Gabe. Wow. <laughs> well, he has a, a, a little child and a job, and I'm retired, and I just play Animal Crossing with my daughter at night for fun, so. Also, uh, I posted the canvas art for mm. our logo on our Instagram. So if you want to decorate your oh, yeah, crossing awesome. house with uh, Omni Bros Live, Fangirls Assemble, Near Mint Condition, uh, you can, or Omni Dogs Vault, I added that as well. You can go to our Instagram and there's the QR codes that you can scan with your phone. It's a whole process, but it's it's easy. Yeah, you can use that Yay. to decorate your walls. <laughs> they make it really, Nintendo has a knack for making things really, they're supposed to be simple, but they overcomplicate things. You have to download the Nintendo app, open the, the Animal Crossing app within the app, and then open up a QR scanner so you can scan the code and then go to your game and then download it in game. It, it's it's a it's a mess. Wow. But it's yeah, it's not so bad. But for the first time, you're like, wait, what what the heck am I doing? But you get used to it. <laughs> uh, Bobby it Keaton. Infuriating. Jess, do you recommend the Superman Rebirth stories that go past the Deluxe Edition collections? I have not read those, Bobby Keating. I apologize. Um, I haven't read any of the Bendis stuff yet. And it, does it go straight from Deluxe number four into Bendis? Or is there stuff in between? I don't know. I haven't read it. The the uh, Tomasi and Gleason stuff is the only thing I've read. Yeah. Okay, I think, that's, I think I I'm sure. sure. Yeah, I think it was immediately into Bendis' stuff because okay. the things I've heard, that's when things start changing that after that point. Right. No, I haven't read it yet. A few people talking about uh, Planetary recently, picking up the Omnibus, reading the Omnibus for the first time. Uh, some people are like it. Some people haven't quite liked it. Uh, but I realized that the your first read through is it, it deserves more than one read through for you to catch everything. You definitely need a second read through of Planetary. Yeah, I agree with that. Quite, quite grasp uh, its uh, deconstruction of comic book tropes and comic book. Uh, uh, tropes and other comic book uh innuendos and stuff like that so good stuff uh, if you like it great if not i can see why not it makes sense i love that book is nintendo still do friends codes for you guys to be friends with people yeah switch codes yeah yeah, yeah that's <laughs> that's still that's still ridiculous yeah somebody in chat said that uh, nintendo is a 2004 of they're still in 2004 in terms of internet access if we if we play a multiplayer game, 
and we want to chat, we want to talk, it has to be through the phone. You download the Nintendo app, so it hooks up to the game, and you can voice chat through the phone instead of headsets like PlayStation or Xbox using your internet. It's, I, I don't get them. <laughs> That's kind of like how when people would use a like TeamSpeak when they would play online games back in the day. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, here's a cool question. I've been reading the Batman Road to No Man's Land trade paperbacks. Are you guys planning on upgrading when the Omni comes up? I'm undecided. Mr. Body Massage. Hey, hey, go, hey. I can go for a body massage right now. My back is tweaked. Uh, I am not upgrading. <laughs> I want I want the uh, trade paperbacks like what Jess has. Uh, I can't find Cataclysm anywhere. I found a store in town that has everything except Cataclysm. Uh, I don't know what it's going for on eBay. I haven't really looked it up yet. But I'll look right now. Yeah, um, but I might just get if I don't get them, uh, I'll wait for the omnibus. You know, it is what it is. I can't see that being too crazy. Cataclysm? Uh, I think we'll... Yeah. I think we'll get Zdarsky oversized hardcover for his recent run, and the answer is yes. It's already been solicited. You can pre-order now at DCBS. Yeah, uh, that, that run's been getting a lot of, lot of good... Yeah. Looks like the, uh, the fifty dollars is look like what it's selling for. Thirty five dollars? No, that was for a bunch. Uh, yeah, the one I have is like sixty dollars, sixty five, forty. Oh no, that's the old version. If you want the one with the matching spines. Yeah, it looks like fifty bucks is the going rate on eBay. Nah, I think I'm good. <laughs> if I can find it in, if I can find it in, in public, or if I can find it in the wild, I'm I'm in. But fifty bucks for one tree paper pack, and fifty bucks to probably get me the omnibus. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I've got to. I've got to admit, whenever I see somebody asking or talking about absolute carnage omnibus. It takes me a minute to figure out what the heck we're talking about because of the absolute and omnibus next to each other. Right. <laughs> so what, whenever I see comments like that, I'm like, wait, absolute carnage. Uh, oh, got it. The carnage series. Whoa. I want to read it. I haven't read it yet. Amazon's way worse on it. Hey, yeah. Oh, Amazon's way worse on everything that, that's like on the marketplace. Yeah, you're right. Hey, yeah. They're the worst. All oh, right. this uh, Brown thing, he wants to get rid of it. He'll sell it to you for cover plus shipping. Let's talk. Let's there talk. you go. I think he has me on Instagram. All right. Hey. All right. And That's how this works. All right. Uh, let's go ahead. And Oh, speaking of Absolute Carnage, real quick. That's another example of a new series all of a sudden becoming an omnibus. That probably should have been... Uh, oversized hardcover first or something to kind of lead up into the omnibus or yeah. empire that new empire story that is getting some pretty negative reactions is already getting an omnibus and it's not even that series isn't even done yet yeah so all right do we want to do previews let's take a look at uh what's coming out this week sure i don't know any 50 percent off stuff she I, I, emily didn't tell me yeah. we'll find out tomorrow yeah we'll find out tomorrow as soon as we learn, I'm going to type it on the, I'm going to sticky it or whatever you call it on the comment section on this video. So look forward oh, to that. okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a look at the awesome releases we got going on for the, this week, September 9th. Uh, our awesome sponsor, the amazing InStockTrades.com. They will, they update their website with the new week's orders Tuesday. That's tomorrow at 12 noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern. 
so you can get ready for the excitement then. All right, let's go ahead and uh, rock it through here. Uh, Image oh, Comics yeah. is up first. We have Outer Darkness Meet Chew. Uh, totally want that. Totally I have want no idea what any of this is. I'm, I'm intrigued because of Chew. Yeah, I don't know how Chew is going to get out to Outer Darkness. That's a great uh, series, Outer Darkness, but it's out in space. So I have, and it's in the future. So I, you got me how that's going to work. Yeah, but I want I'm there. It. it sounds awesome. It's John Lehman. Uh, it looks like Rob Guillory is coming back doing the art. And I love the cover, how that's uh, uh, an homage to Chew number one. Mm -hmm. uh, Dark Horse this week. We got the uh, God of War uh, Lore and Legends hardcover and Ooh. the Legend of Korra Ruin of Empires library edition hardcover. That's going to look nice on the shelf. All the library editions look great. Yeah, those those Dark Horse library editions are just always beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like the Fear Agent ones and the uh, Kabuki ones. Uh, DC Comics... Uh, Previews has a limited uh, a limited view for DC. We'll get into uh, the UCS uh, distribution mm -hmm. right after this as well. But what we have here on Diamond is a DC poster portfolio for uh, Francisco Matina. Now Marvel this week is kicking it into high gear with uh, mm -hmm. Ghost Rider Volume Two. This is the uh, the more Recent Ghost Rider with uh, you get Danny Ketch and Johnny Blaze together, and then here it is. <laughs> this is the book that only Gabe cares about, and that is the <laughs> Heroes Reborn Return on the Buzz hardcover. Yes, sir. Uh, nice. I'm a big fan of Heroes Re uh, Heroes Reborn. Uh, this is the aftermath and the return storyline for Heroes Returns. Uh, this is. Probably when I fell in love with Salvador LaRocco's artwork for the first time. Uh, too bad it's different compared to how it was here, but this is definitely on my list. Uh, also, coming up, we have uh, Runaways uh, by Rainbow Rowell, Volume 5 Cannon Fodder. And another thing, this is another thing that probably only Gabe cares about, and that's the Silver Surfer Epic Collection. Uh, this is the resurrection. This is more of the Ron Mars stuff. Let me take a look. Yeah, more of the Ron Mars, Ron Lem stuff. Nice. This is some of my favorite stuff that has been criminally missed missed out on collected editions for nearly 30 years. And I'm glad to see this stuff really getting pumped out now. So I'm pumped and excited for this for sure. This is uh, issue 76 through 85. Service for Warlock Resurrection 1 through 4. And Secret Defenders nine through ten. That's that's awesome, top notch stuff. Uh, all right, and then going through, we have uh, the Secret Life of Top Dog. <laughs> that <was> fun. <laughs> and Star Wars Age of Resistance hardcover. I'll get that. Top Dog has a complete collection. My gosh, <laughs> wow. I don't want that just to say I have it. Wow. Top Anything's dog. possible. <laughs> I have never Top heard of dog. Top Dog. Uh, Boom Studios this week is coming out with Firefly uh, Inverse Hardcover Volume 1 for all the uh, brown coats out there watching today. Right on, right and on, then right here, on. And then here is the uh, bottom half section where the awesome Geo and the manga collectors go into more in-depth with their solicitations and releases as well right here on the Omni Bros uh, YouTube channel every other Thursday. So I'll just I, go through here just see anything pops that's I not totally quite manga related that we want to talk about. I fully support uh, this, but I really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Right. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think there's comic books scattered throughout. Uh, yeah, that's how you just scroll through here because this is also where like the independent uh, stuff gets seen. Like here, Terry Moore's five years later omnibus. That's down here uh, for the Terry go. Moore fans. I know they're gonna absolutely love getting that. Mm -hmm. Oh, he even did. from Volt Comics. Yeah, great things about that book. 
More manga. More manga. Lots of manga, man. Manga has just been just flooding open since the <laughs> quarantine happened. Yep. Lady Mechanica. I know there's a lot of Lady Mechanica fans out there as well. King of Fighters. That one's a lot of fun. More manga. Forget me, Matt. Nobody, Nobody in control from Black Mask. Good old Owly. Nice. Section seems to get bigger and bigger every week. <laughs> Splatoon. Splatoon. Mm. Or Black Mask. At least it's space. All right. That's it. And that's that. So let's take a look at a uh, UCS real fast. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the site that we look at for uh, a more in-depth look for releases for uh, DC, because that includes Animal Man by Grant Morrison, hardcover volume two. Uh, volume one is getting harder and harder to find, so uh, safe travels and good luck finding that one, everybody. Uh, Geo, we got Aquaman. Oh, yes. Got to get that. Trade paperback. I know, but I'm gonna. This is my Man of Steel moment right here. I'm gonna get it regardless. <laughs> I'm gonna get it too, but it's freaking two hardcovers first. I know that sucks. But yet we get basket full of heads. That's a hardcover. Ooh, I'll get that. That's supposed to be good. That's from the Joe Hill stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Joe. Yeah. It's one of the uh, actual book that Joe Hill is actually writing. I think it's like one or two that he's actually uh, scribing himself and everything. Uh, Batman Detective Comics, Volume 2, Arkham Knight, trade paperback. And that's it. All right, and that's that it. is that, everybody. It's a light week compared to Armageddon. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, dude. Like, yeah, we needed a little bit of a breather after what happened last week for sure. Last week was a monster. And then they were saying that the 23rd is going to be another crazy week. Yeah, because uh, there's like four or, more, four or five obvies at the same time, something like that. And then we're getting the Absolute Carnage Omnibus, followed by the War of the Realms, like a week later, something crazy like that in October. I don't know. Everybody's wallets is going to be hurting. For a while. I want to show the greatest cover ever. Let's see if I can screen share it. Because I want to contribute something meaningful. to the. Oh, wait. I have to blow it up first. I want to contribute something meaningful to this chat. Everything you contribute is meaningful. This is more meaningful. Ah. Uh. Oh, it didn't go? Oh, you have to pick it. There it is. Nice. That's the Bruce Tim variant for Amazing cool. Spider-Man. I forget what number. For a single, for a floppy? Floppy, yeah. Oh. It's a variant. Um, I can't remember what number it is. 41, maybe? It's coming out. Anyway, I thought this was an awesome cover. That looks great, yeah. I got it to frame, and then I got a copy of it that he's going to sign, and I'm going to get CGC'd and just have in my possession. So there you go. That's what I think is an awesome cover. It is awesome. Even though I still think that Gwen Stacy is the love of Peter Parker's life and uh, Mary Jane is just blah. Was it 850? Oh. It's old. Oh, it's old. Uh, oh, it went back, back to, to the renumbering. Oh, all right. 850. They're getting, okay. close to that. They're getting close to that 900. And when they hit 900, they could make 65 different variants to commemorate <laughs> the 900 issue at, at $12 a piece. Yeah. And then you're going to do a massive uh, variant 
cover gallery when they do the 1000th issue. So, yeah, that's the uh, the crazy nonsensical business necessity of comic books, single issues these days. That is right. Lionheart has it right. Gwen Stacy over MJ. Yeah, it's Gwen Stacy. Head in 1, there. One thousand percent. Why is MJ's head in there? So you can throw it away. So you can throw it away. <laughs> I'm starting a new spider wall with Gwen Stacy starring in a starring role. Nice. Yeah, I've run out of room on the other spider door. You have multiple spider doors? Uh, yeah. That's a spider door, and then I just started over there. Unfortunately, it's covered with bombshell posters, so they may have to maneuver their way through there because I'm not taking those posters down. Yeah, they're agile enough. They can do it. Yeah. It's... Nice. Yeah, those posters are great. All I see is books on the floor. <laughs> it's that that door. There's a Spider Man with Patsy Walker right there holding. What does that right door there. lead to? What's that? What's that door lead to? Uh, the outside world. No, oh, don't oh, go through there. Just stay there. Board that thing up. Yeah. yeah. The real world. Just is paint boring. it shut. <laughs> then I won't be able to get out. Room to adjust. People <laughs> want that. <laughs> okay, People yeah. want that I will do it. Uh, Tasty Melon, I'm getting that Bruce Tim signed comic from. It's a Facebook page. It's easy to join. And it is called. All right, wait a minute. Uh, it's a, it actually turns out it's pretty close to me, location-wise. Called Trinity Comics Convention Services. Trinity Comics Convention Services. Nice. Once again, what's the other Trinity, look like now? Trinity Comics Convention Services. It's a Facebook page, and they specialize in um, variant covers and getting variant covers signed by artists and writers um, during these COVID times. And so I think the Bruce Tim thing, you can also send in stuff and get your own stuff signed with Bruce Tim, but I'm just getting that signed and sent to CGC and then sent back to me. Uh, Brad, is Spider-Gwen in the 616 universe at all? Has our Peter ever met her? He did meet her in the- uh, uh, Spider-Verse? Spider-Verse event, yeah. And the spider get in and all that stuff. So they've met before. All right, guys, ready to cut this out? Let's talk about InStockTrades.com real quick, our fabulous sponsor where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts uh, can add 2% to that. At the end of every month, they are kind enough to give us a gift card worth $50 that we award to a lucky viewer like you. If you spend that $50 or more on books in the United States, you get free shipping. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's in stocktrades.com. Nice. Thank you. She's currently exiled and studying in college in 616. There oh, she go. is? Ghost Spider. Oh. I don't like that name, but whatever. I thought there was only one Marvel Universe after Secret Wars. Nah, they just folded uh, 
ultimate universe. Just how to get rid of our precious ultimate universe. I know. It has so many great ideas rolling, but yeah. They, all right. So, Gio, where can everybody find you at, buddy? Uh, you can find me on my channel at We Can Geek Them, where I mostly talk about anime, comics, manga, all that fun stuff. Subscribe if you can. That's a week in Geek Them. And you guys are Omnidog on Omnidog's Vault, where apparently I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> and on Instagram, Omnidog's underscore Vault. And you guys can find me on Instagram, Gabe Loves 90s Comics. And uh, also for Instagram, don't forget to follow Omni Bros Live. And here at the end of the show, we like to give a shout out to all of our Patreon members. So that's going to start out with the one and only, the great and fabulous Mr. Joey Guzman. Uh, we got Parker, Nathan, Drunk T, Mason Grimes, Jamie Galvin. We have Remco, Ian, A. Martin. Zach Blake, Martin Pilgrim, Justin Page, David Codd, Chest Rockwell, Brian Long, nice. Gregory Perlman, <laughs> and Leonardo Brazel, as well as Gary Sandberg. So we'll, uh, we're going to start hooking people up pretty soon. We're going to do another Omni Bros After Dark uh, campfire hangout sooner or later. Uh, we just got to get together and figure out when the next date for that is. It's usually Saturdays. It's usually the best for most of us. Yeah, sounds good. All I right. Yeah, that was super fun stuff. All right, guys. If you, uh, want, if you want to read the criticism of me? It's on my uh, Brave and Bold Overview, Volume 1. He didn't put it on the Spectre Omnibus Overview. It is a Spectre Omnibus Overview criticism that's on my Brave <laughs> and Bold Number 1 Overview. So he couldn't even put it on the correct video? He said that he couldn't post it for some reason on the Om Spectre Omnibus Overview. Then he just wanted you to know that he had issues and conditions with your review. It is the longest criticism or comment I have ever gotten ever in the history of ever. It has laid out bullet points where I'm wrong and um, it also assumes that I get my books for free. That is the only thing I'm going to respond to because I pay for every single book. Yeah. We I don't, don't get, get books for free. Yeah. Did, did nobody we, tell us this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's my free copy. I want one. Nobody gets free yeah. books in this. Uh, Wait, I spent show. money for no reason? Yeah. I don't get yeah. jack. So uh, that is the only thing I'm going to re respond to. Otherwise, knock yourself out. Go ahead and criticize. All right, let's get out of here. Thanks again, everybody in the chat, all the awesome viewers we had today. And remember, thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time here. And we'll see everybody Thursday. Thanks, everybody. Thursday. You guys are great. Peace and love, peace and love. Yeah. <laughs>